Deborah Dane. Stravaite. And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. Well, what a start to the week we had. Yes, it definitely started with a bang. <laughs> Friday evening, um, the wind picked up. We got a bit of a storm going. It was all quite exciting. Um, and we had a thunder and lightning. Um, and there was one that must have been, if you do the counting seconds thing, only about two miles from us, which was a uh, really quite, <laughs> quite <Wow>. close, <laughs> loud and close. Um, and then suddenly we had simultaneous lightning and thunder. We think we got struck by lightning. <laughs> we don't, I think we definitely did. It blew up Max's UPS. Yeah. And a couple of battery charges and plugs. Yeah. Killed the power for a bit. Um, when it came back on, we unplugged everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, with trepidation, waiting to find out what had actually blown and what hadn't. Yeah. But it was only the UPS and the ba battery charger, I think. Yeah. Max thinks he got a bit of a shock on his leg, but he's okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> he was at his computer. Was <laughs> <laughs> he said his foot was numb and he had his foot by the UPS when the UPS blew. So um, we think we've got a rod on the roof, which we don't know if it's a television antennae or a lightning rod, but we think that got hit and the, the power from the lightning found its way down through the electric cables to the lowest point, which was Max's UPS. Yeah. So uh, it grounded itself through that and uh, destroyed it, really. Yeah. <laughs> it so we had to get him a new one. But that tied in quite nicely with what we did on Sunday. Yeah, it was Max's birthday, and he requested a trip to Varna before the lightning strike, in fairness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But we used that opportunity to go to um, a well-known shop, Te Technopolis, to get a new UPS for him, so he's back protected. Um, but we also did some other stuff. Yeah, so we went into Varna, we had mooch around the shops. We did. At Max's request. The highlight of Max's day, I think, was finding the air rifle shooting range. Yes, we went to the Grand Mall in, in Varna. Yes, in one of the dark corners of one of the levels of the car park, they turned it into an airsoft and air rifle rifle range. Yeah. So it had a 50 metre range. Yeah. Max was in his element for a he bit was. down there. He went and he shot the rifle, he shot the pistols, he did all sorts of bits and pieces. That was his highlight. Yeah, our highlight was <laughs> <laughs> definitely watching Max in one of the massage chairs. Yes, it was quite amusing and this is what it looked like. <laughs> They were actually very vicious. Yes, luckily Max was still in the chair while we had a go. Yeah, so um, he didn't get so there's no footage of us. <laughs> <laughs> they probably looked very similar. I think so, yes. It was quite painful in parts. Yes, it wasn't a gentle massage. <laughs> then we ended the day with a lovely meal. Yes, we went to Happy Bar and Grill. Um, those of you who don't know, Happy is a chain of restaurants across Bulgaria. Um, they have the same menu. It's, it's very much a, I don't think it's a franchise or what it is, but um, the food was excellent. Um, yeah, service was excellent. The prices were slightly higher than other restaurants we've been to, but we don't know if that's due to inflation or it just is a bit more expensive. But having said that, we had a three course meal each, a couple of drinks each, mm -hmm. and it came to 100 and... 120 lev. 20 lev for the, for three, the three of us. Including Max's massive rack of ribs. Oh, yes. So. Uh, if you're in the UK and you want to know what happy's like, if you go to London, Piccadilly Circus, there's one there. Yes. <laughs> but it was, it, was, it was very good value for money, I think. Yes. Because the food was all of excellent Oh, quality. it was excellent food. We really had a good a good meal and a good day out. Yeah. <laughs> we came back home to the puppies. Yes. Speaking of which, some of them are going to their new homes this week. Yes, we've got pickups on Sunday for three of them. Yep. Um, which met lower the numbers a little <laughs> there are still a couple available if you want one um, <laughs> yes the black one and the all white one yes if you're interested in one of the puppies that we still have left as we said the black and the white one just email us and we'll make arrangements for you to come and visit see them or just take them away <laughs> <laughs> not just take them away <laughs> if you are interested in their progress this is what they're up to now
Monday and Tuesday work continued on the dog compound. It did. You may remember last week we got the fences up but no gates. The gates were built. Gates were built, gates were hung, fences were... In fact, this is what we did. Well, we left it last week that we'd built the fences. All we had to do now was build three gates and our compound will be complete. So that's today's job, build the gates. Because we've reused various posts and bits of wood for the, for the fence posts, none of them are straight, which makes making the gate a little bit trickier. I think what we'll do is rather than have it fit in the gap, we'll have it fit over the gap. Um, I haven't quite worked out how I'm doing that yet, but it's a work in progress. The gates are now made and hung and in the right positions. We've had to do different uh, techniques on the locks, which I'll show you in a moment. But uh, this is the gate for the airlock. This is the gate along the side fence. It allows us wheelbarrow access to the barn. And finally, the gate that leads into the barn. This is the shortest gate, but uh, it matches the height of the fence. And we don't think the dogs will be able to get over that. We've used different techniques to latch each gate. This gate opens inwards. So we open it with the, the catch, open the gate, close it against the wood. So that's quite a simple latch. It does the job. The latch on this gate is different because this gate opens outwards. We needed a way of being able to open it from either side um, but also to bolster up the bottom so the dogs couldn't push it open. What we've done is a hook and an eye, not a block of wood, that simply opens by lifting and closes by dropping it back down again. And this is our final latch, which quite simply opens up and closes. So now that the fences are complete, the gates are complete and the enclosure is complete, we just have to treat the wood with some preservative and the dogs can then enjoy the extra space. So, the large dogs have now been given the run of the compound. They seem to have made themselves quite at home. So I think we can tick that off as another job well done. Yeah, as you can see, the lack of latches and locks that we're used to <laughs> came up, we came up with some inventions. We have. Um, Each gate has a different mechanism. But they all work, they all hold the gates shut. So. And they were all made from stuff we had lying around. Yeah. <laughs> And so far we've had no escapes. No. <laughs> it's all going well. Wednesday, Sophie went to the vets. Yeah, she didn't have a good day Wednesday. No, bless her. I think, we don't know if it was her first time in a car or not, but she handled that very well. Oh yeah, like coming, a natural. Coming out of the um, anaesthetic, she was very groggy all day. Well, she fought it going under and yeah. she fought it coming out. So. Yes. 
<laughs> she was just standing and she would refuse to go to sleep. She was definitely a bit, a bit disorientated. A little wary. Um, by Thursday she'd forgiven us. So. Yes. She didn't speak to us Wednesday afternoon, did she? She oh. didn't want to know. She didn't want to know anything on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> But, but yeah, uh, Thursday morning she was back to her normal self. Yeah. So she's on her course of antibiotics for this week. And uh, that should be her sorted? Well, that is her sorted. Um, the puppies are having the second round of worming this week. So it's all go in the world of the dogs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so next week we'll be introducing the puppies to the bigger dogs. Yeah. The ones that are left here. So. Yeah, they've, they've all got to get on. and they've, they've got now the little compound, the big compound. There's plenty of room for all of them. Yeah, and hopefully <laughs> they'll all get on. They, yeah. they make friends through the fence at the moment, so yeah. the tails wag, so we think it's all positive. <laughs> we'll, we'll soon find out. <laughs> well, that's probably about it for us this week. It is. We hope you've had a good week. We certainly have. So, until next week. Stay safe. Stay well. Doscaro. Doscaro. Doscaro.